Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul. Thank you for joining me today. Let's talk about what I read this week, what I'd like to read this coming week, and what's going on in my life. The first book is Vagabonds by Hao Jing Fang. This is a Chinese female science fiction writer. This is translated by Ken Wu. Vagabonds is a story about Mars and how this society on Mars is different than the society on Earth. There are a group of students that went to Earth for five years between the ages of 13 and 18, and now they are back on Mars. And they bring with them a lot of the ideals that they learned on Earth, uh, and they want to kind of like implement them on Mars and become uh, entwined with society on Mars, while some of the characters kind of feel like they don't belong anywhere and that they're basically wandering from place to place, thus the name Vagabonds. This is a very intellectual science fiction book. Uh, it is ideal focused. It is uh, societal focused, organizational focused, governmental, uh, politics, and philosophy. And it's all about how generations change and how the new generation wants to change things, society, to fit their ideas and how they view the world. Uh, very good. I thought it was written really well. There are individual passages in this that were fantastic. And I thought it could have really been a lot better, though. There were two main issues I had with the book. The first was that I felt the point of view characters could have been a little tighter. Uh, I would have wanted to have less point of view characters, but more intimate view of the story with more emotion and more connection with other characters. And also, I felt that uh, it just wasn't structured all that great. I felt that it could have made a lot more sense to kind of focus on the individual aspects of these people's lives and the relationships that they formed and have but there is a lot of info dump in this there's a lot of the author telling you what's going on telling you about this world instead of showing it to you a lot of reviews talk about that and they're not incorrect however it is still a really interesting story and I'm glad I read it I feel smarter I feel uh, more exposed to Chinese science fiction after reading it and I will definitely ring read more from Hao Jing Fang in the future if you haven't read folding Beijing which is a story she won the Hugo for uh, a few years ago. Read that. That is such a good story. But Vagabonds was good as well. And uh, if an intellectual science fiction is something you like, then check this out. I also read Well Met by Jed DeLuca. This is a romance story and it's just a fun, light read. Emily just got out of a horrible relationship. The guy she was with uh, put himself first and once he got what he wanted he basically dumped her and now she is back living with her sister in a small town in Maryland and her sister just got into a car accident so Emily is taking care of her sister and her niece and they end up joining a renaissance fair because her niece wants to join the renaissance fair for the summer and Emily meets this individual named Simon and Simon is a very strict, demissive, uh, by the book individual. And at first, she really doesn't like Simon at all. He just seems like he doesn't want anything to do with her. And he's too strict and too focused on rules. But when Simon ends up becoming his alter ego, a pirate at the uh, Renaissance Fair, his other side of his personality comes out and she ends up liking the pirate. And um, so it ends up becoming a romance story and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I'm not a huge 
romance reader yet, but uh, I feel that this was good. I don't know how it compares to other romance books, but I enjoyed it. There is one main scene of uh, sex between the two characters that's a little explicit, but I felt like because they developed this relationship and romance throughout the entire book, it didn't really bother me quite a bit at all. It was actually really good. And uh, it was a nice book. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. Uh, this coming week, I want to retry The Left Hand of Darkness by Le Guin. I have the audiobook now from Overdrive, and I hope that will help me with you know, understanding the basic themes of this book and getting involved in the story and the characters more deeply than when I first tried to read it back in the spring. Uh, I want to read this because after reading Vagabonds, I wanted to try another intelligent science fiction book. Then I want to try to read uh, Ryan Holiday. This is the third and final book of his that I need to read. The Obstacle is the Way. It's more about uh, stoicism and how obstacles make us better people. And then I have Max Berry's Lexicon. Uh, I have the audiobook for this as well. And I hope to read this. This is actually my book. Um, so that's a good thing. Actually, The Left Hand of Darkness is my book as well. Other than that, uh, I'm going to try to be more strict about my time management. I know that I've said that in my previous videos. But I'm super serious about it right now. Uh, I have school, I have work, and I have my reading, and I have my health. Those four things should be the priorities in my life, uh, in relationships, uh, friendships, and, and things like that. So I am kind of cutting away the content that I consume to make time for those other things. So that means YouTube, it means social media, it means uh, streaming services, things of that nature. The only exception is watching something with other people. I'm allowed to do that, but I'm really going to cut back on like the amount of wasted time I spend at the computer or using uh, devices that I could watch like Twitch or YouTube on. Uh, I got into a really horrible um, habit of watching Twitch TV. It's been really bad. I've been watching way too much and I it's not really adding anything to my life. Sure, it's relaxing and fun and funny at times because the people on there are very entertaining, but if I'm honest with myself, six months to a year from now, I'm not going to look back on this time and say, oh, I'm so happy I spent those three hours that day watching Twitch or YouTube. So, uh, not that there's anything necessarily wrong with it. I'm not saying that for other people. I'm saying that for me, at this moment in my life, I need to cut back on consuming that type of content because I need to really focus on the things that are essential to me, things that I value the most, uh, and actually succeed in the goals that I had for the year. I have four months left in the year, and I want to use those four months in a way that when I look back on 2020, I can say, okay, that was a difficult year, uh, but I got through it, and I'm a better person and I'm healthier. At this moment, at this time, I can't say that. I'm not healthier, I'm actually unhealthier than I was at the beginning of the year. And uh, I, I, and I also need to make sure that I'm focusing on my schooling and getting the good grades and making sure I'm reading the books that I love as well. Uh, my reading has gone kind of down a little bit since work started and I got involved with watching Twitch so much and school started again. So I want to make sure I'm carving out enough time that I'm able to read. So that is what's going on with me and what I read and what I'm going to read. Let me know what's up with you all and I will see you next week.